Hey guys, it's Cooper with Tenbeck here. Today I've got the new Exponent. Um, it's kind of a ball I've been excited for. Uh, I got a new layout I want to try. I want to put a short pin on it. Never really dabbled with the you know shorter pins, and I think this is going to be a really good ball to, to give that a try. Um, it's got a medium RG, I'm sorry, a low RG and a medium diff. It's got a 4000 grit solid cover stock and 701 reserve blend. I'm really curious to see what this thing's going to do. It's supposed to be a really good benchmark ball. Um, 900 Global doesn't put out a lot of stuff, but when they do, they don't miss. You know, they're, they're typically some pretty good bowling balls. So I think this is a really good ball to experiment on. Um, let's take it out of the lane. Let's give it a shot. Man. That ball goes to the pins really nice. Oh, well, this ball's definitely got a different shape than I'm used to. Um, this is my first time drilling a short pin layout. Um, very different. It's, I, I like the way it rolls. Um, I can really keep the angles ahead of me. I, I have a good feeling that this ball is going to be a house shot killer. I could just kind of hit on a little more, play a little straighter, and have that controllable back end. The ball wants to really pick up early and just roll out. And that's good for me on this house shot. I, I, I usually uh, I'm a little, score a little higher when I can play them straighter. This ball really complements that, that uh, desire to play straighter. So I'm excited to see what I can do in league or something like that. Um, let's, let's take a couple boards to the left and see what I can get it to do, see if that, uh, see if that shape holds up. I leaked that one out a little bit to the right, but that, that short pin, man, it really just helps control that uh, over under from, you know, we got this walled house shot here, and the short pin is really going to help you control that. Wow, that almost looks even better when I move further to the left. I really went for the pins nice. I, I, I really like this motion that I'm getting from this ball. Threw that one pretty bad, and I still got away with it. So it, it really blends out the lane. It really you know, breaks down that wall, that uh, you know, thick oil in the middle, and the bone drive on the outside. It really gives you a nice blended look. Well, apart from that one, I, I, I really like the way this ball looks, especially the further left I go. I, I, Honestly, that was a really good motion. It really, really blended out the lanes and gave me a, a really good chance to hit the pocket, even if I missed a few boards left or a few boards right. Um, I'm gonna move even further left and see, see if I can keep that same shape. See if it doesn't, you know, typically when you get these balls like that, that blend really well, play up the boards with, kind of loses that shape the further left you go. So I'm gonna see what I can make it do. Um, see if I can retain that motion. I got a little lazy with that one in the hand. Kinda didn't come off cleanly, but honestly, it's still not a bad look. I tried to get one out, tried to get that one out to the dry a little bit more. It, it definitely shaped. Um, I, I, I can foresee this being a little touchy, though. Um, flirting with that over under down lane, you know, whether you got to that spot or not down lane. It's, uh, I, I could see this being a little touchier. Maybe at this point, look, you know, when you're this deep looking for something a little shinier, maybe like your, you know, your Zen Gold label that <laughs> just also came out. I got that one pretty far to the right. Honestly, not a bad look. Um, I, I could have predicted it's, the ball's going to be a little touchier uh, when the further left you get. You know, these duller balls, these benchmark type motion bowling balls, they, they, they tend to burn up a little bit more energy and you can't make the turn quite as hard as some of the shinier balls. So uh, a little touchier as we get to the left, but still honestly a, a decent motion, even if you want to touch it up with a little bit of surface. Uh, maybe if you put a, a little bit of a longer pin, 
get it the you know make the make the turn just a little bit harder. Obviously, I'm trying to kill the core a little bit with that short pin. So, uh, for what I for what I am intending it to do, it's got some some pretty good motion to it. I think this is definitely going to take a spot in my bag. So I'm excited to see what I can do. Um, I'm going to throw the phase two a couple times, um, give it give it some kind of comparison. Phase two, I have drilled a three and three eighths inch pin. You know, I, it's my max flare bowling ball. Um, that's right now it's my benchmark bowling ball. So I'm interested to see what it does in comparison. Uh, this phase two's got a couple more games on it. Probably got about 60 games on it with a little bit of, I think I hit it with some 2000, a little bit of surface, scuffed it up a little. Let's see what it does in comparison. Definitely more motion. It definitely grabs the lane a little bit more than that exponent did. Yeah, so that ball is definitely checking up compared to the exponent. Um, and that makes sense. It's, I'm a little bit further right of where I would typically be when using this bowling ball. Um, I, I'm typically standing at least on 20. Uh, you know, just bubbling out to uh, eight or nine down lane on the house shot. Um, so, like I said, a little further right than I'd like to be with this ball, but still, uh, good comparison. Um, I hit that one a little hard, uh, but like I said previously, this ball definitely wants to shape more down lane, this part of the lane especially, it shows. Um, the phase two, I think is a little longer than the exponent. The exponent, uh, you know, it might be due to the cover being a little fresher, but for whatever reason, um, the exponent definitely is retaining more energy for me. It's got that short pin, like I said, that wants to retain more energy and hitting power. Compared to my phase two drilled with, for max flare, it, uh, it definitely can, retains a little bit more energy. Uh, goes through the pins really nice. I want to move even further left because when I can move left with my phase two, I couldn't typically move left with a ball like that exponent. So I'm going to jump about five boards more to the left and see if I can still get it to turn the corner and be a little bit more consistent down lane than the exponent was. So let's, let's give it a shot. All right, after taking this thing out on the lanes, it's, uh, it's definitely got a, a really good, interesting motion. Uh, something that I've never really had before in my bag. You know, even if I just bring it to tournaments or something like that, it's a, it's a different look to have. It's especially with the short pin for me, something that I've never really tried. I really like it. It's controllable. It really blended out the, fr the friction on the lanes. You know, when you get, you get on those house shot leagues, you get that heavy volume in the middle and that dry volume on the outside. There's nothing's bone dry. This thing did a really, really good job of blending that out. Especially compared to something like the Phase 2. You know, I just want to get left and wheel it. It's still got that nice benchmark motion. It's a little longer, a little, a little sharper. Still, they both have round motions. This one's earlier, and it's more controllable down lane, but still has plenty of hitting power, uh, just from what I saw out of it. That two-inch pin really helped it retain energy. That solid cover stock still gave it that smooth, round, desirable motion. Um, I could definitely see myself starting out with a ball like this, the exponent, just because it retains so much energy. And as it starts to burn up, I could switch to something like uh, Zen, or maybe the Zen Gold label, you know, just to get a little bit more entry angle into the pocket and help uh, retain some of that energy. You know, maybe even something with a longer pin. Maybe even an exponent shined with a longer pin. So you get to respond to that friction just a hair more. Kick that 10, that 10 pin out, a little more entry angle. Overall, it's a uh, really good ball, honestly. I, I think it's earned a spot in my bag, at least for the first few weeks of league, fall league rolling around. I'm always open to new suggestions, new balls. You can't go wrong with a phase two. It's been in my bag ever since it came out in 2016. But um, I'm, I'm really excited to have this good complement to it in my bag. Uh, I think it'll open up a lot of options for me. So if you want to get yours, um, contact your local pro shop. Stop into 10 back pro shop. North Canton, Ohio, here in Park Center Lanes. Come see me, Cooper. We'll get you one punched up. Anyway, thanks, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, keep yourself updated on all of our ball reviews. We do all kinds of ball reviews. So, yeah.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.